Jimmy again with the uh, Adult Summer Reading Program Quilters Show and Tell. Today we have Robin. Yeah. Glad you came by and brought some quilts, Robin. Uh, we have one up here, but uh, first of all, I want to ask you how long have you been quilting? I have been quilting for five years now, just just a little bit over five so years. So you are a new yes. quilter, just... I am relatively new. I've sewn since I was a very young girl, but quilting was a whole different world to me. Well, and it is now because it's not like it was back uh, oh, in my no. generation. But anyway, you've done a good job, and uh, you want to talk a little bit about this quilt? Certainly. Uh, this one is actually called a French braid quilt, and it's called that because it wants to give you the illusion that the strips of fabric are actually uh, woven together. So. I think, um, and this particular one especially, what, what they're trying to get some people to do is to get that gradation of coloring so that you see it flow gradually. It's not a drastic change from one color to the next color. Um, and this particular one I actually used for the thread on both the front and the back. Um, I used a Coates and Clark 100% cotton quilting thread. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever use that one again. It's got way too much lint in it, but it did turn out the way that I wanted it to. It had that variegated look to it, and I just think that it helped add to the quilt. Um, and that's pretty much it on that one. Well, it's, it's, a, it's beautiful colors, and I wanted to show the, uh, the backing and how the uh, uh, quilting shows up in the in the print on the uh, yes, on the it does. If you were to flip it around, it's almost as beautiful on the okay. back. And as the it lining is, on is the front. that the polyester? Did you use the cotton? No, they're all 100% cotton. The face of the fabric and actually the back of the fabric is all batik, and they are a hand dyed fabric, and uh, so you'll never see the exact um, colors like you would in a pre printed type fabric. So you'll have a lot of different. Um, uh, shading in the fabric and I, they're my favorite fabrics to work with is the batik so you'll see a lot of batiks in my quilting. Well it's a beautiful quilt and beautiful colors that uh, you've chosen. To thank use. you, thank you so much I appreciate that. We're back again with another quilt and this one is for bikers. It's a beautiful quilt. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? This is actually a panel quilt and this center section here is actually a panel not including from the yellow stripes out. Um, then you add borders to it. Some people actually use the panels just by themselves to make smaller quilts. Um, this particular one, my husband wanted to curl up with it, so it needed to be a little bit bigger. And so then you add borders to it, and then you quilt it. This one was quite a challenge. This was um, my first experience at actually custom quilting. And when I say custom, then I'm using rulers and I'm using the computer because I'm, I'm, I much prefer the computer. Um, but these designs, if you look at the diamonds in here, I couldn't find a diamond in the program to actually fit that. And the same thing with the spokes on the wheels and all of the, the head on there and everything. You just, you couldn't find anything. You need outline. So it's all custom in this section here. The rest of it is a border to border. But on this one, my husband just raved about it as soon as he received well, it. Well, I can understand uh, why. Because it was all special just for him. But uh, with the rulers, you basically line it up and then you let that be your guide. And, and I'm, uh, I'm amazed at the quilting that you have done in the detail of the bike. It's, it's very detailed. Very, very detailed. It took a considerable and amount of time. And, and, and but the colors uh, match perfectly. It shows, um, you know, the, the computer is a marvelous tool. And so in order to do some of the curves and specify or tell the computer what areas I have to mark it. And so that way you can get very precise with it. And um, I love that. That's why my friends told me I'd be a better quilter than just a seamstress because I love the precision. And so um, I was able to get that all quilted, but then down here and then up here, that is just a built-in edge-to-edge design by Urban Elements. And, okay, and 
there. I, I wanted to show the lining. It is a solid. It's yeah. It's just another back lining, and and it's it's uh, you can see the detail of the quilting from yeah. the, from the back. If you were to turn this around, you could actually see the whole motorcycle <laughs> on the back of it. Yes, and yes. Um, so it's quite interesting. But um, I like the edge to edge because they're quick, and the computer takes care of all of that. I just have to give it the dimensions, and then aside from that, it's it's all good. But this was a. 100% cotton, the batting and the fabric, and then the thread is actually a metallic thread, and that was the first time that I had ever stitched with a metallic thread. Um, that also was a good learning experience uh, because it has a tendency, you have to slow your machine down considerably in order to let it stitch with metallic, otherwise you're going to have a lot of thread breaks. And that shows how, how far quilting has come in, in, in the uh, yes. generations because uh, used to there was only one thread that you could use for quilting and now there's so many choices oh, and it so makes it so much many. easier yes. but uh, this is this is really a nice uh, uh, blanket and I'm glad to hear that you're letting your husband use it oh yes my quilts any of my quilts I that's a, a promise that I make the recipient tell me is that they promise to use it because quilts are made to be used is he, a, is he a backer or is... Um, yes, we both are. Oh, well, yes, that, we both that, have I can understand so why he enjoys using it. Yes, he does. So it's perfect. It actually stays on the sofa. And when he's there, he's curled up with it on a cool evening. Well, that's great. So. We're back with a, another beautiful quilt here. And uh, let's talk a little bit about this. This is a huge quilt. This is a very large quilt. This is actually a king-size bedspread. And um, so that means that it goes all the way to the floor when it's on the bed. And of course the bed is elevated a bit, so that makes it a little bit larger. This is the largest possible size that I can do on my quilt frame. Um, <laughs> otherwise I don't, I'd have to get more rails in order to quilt something larger. Uh, but this one is a Bargello quilt and you piece it together using strips of different colors and the way that they're pieced you actually shift it. So this is the beginning and then if you were to shift this up it would basically be the same except that color was added in. So you always change the colors as it goes. kind of creates a movement within the quilt and um, this was another challenge, uh, but I always like good challenges, and so it took me a bit to actually figure out which quilting designs I would use. This one is completely done on the Pro Stitcher, which means the computer side of it um, takes care of everything except where to position the designs. So this one is actually blocks of the design, and if you were to look at it, let me see if I can find it, here is actually a block with this quilting design. Okay. Um, and here's one right in the center here. You can see it. So it's just repeated across the whole quilt. So and you start out, when you start out uh, piecing it, then you do it by blocks and then you have to set it together yes, to make the pattern. That is correct. Yes, okay. yes I right. have several blocks in here. In total, there are 1,944 little strips of fabric in this quilt <laughs> so and that doesn't include the border but um, I needed the border in order to get the the wider size on it I mitered the corners if you can't see it but when we pull it up then you'll be able to see it because I didn't like the corners of the quilt uh, projecting way out on the floor so I mitered them across and it creates a real nice little fold down there so it's perfect it's a reversible quilt and so the other side is almost as pretty, although it's um, a little plainer than this side is. But both of them uh, look very nice. This one is also, it's longer uh, than a typical king size bedspread is because I like to do a, I think it's called a French roll, but I'm not positive on that. Um, where the bedspread comes up and goes over and then tucks back into the pillows. So it's got a little extra length on it because that's one thing that I don't like is not being able to have enough quilt to go up over the pillows. Well, it is, uh, it's really beautiful and the uh, colors just blend together so well and uh, uh, it's one of the largest quilts I've ever seen, so it's a, it's a beautiful quilt. <laughs> it was heavy. And so we appreciate you, uh, you bringing it. I know it's uh, 
one of your favorites because of the size probably and uh, we'll try to show a little bit of the lining uh, if you <coughs> if you pull it up let's see if we can pull it this way just a little bit this actually As goes across see. the foot of the bed um, and so then it um, and then if you see, uh, see from the lining it has a, a beautiful quilting pattern you can see from the uh, from the lining and that's what I like about a quilt is that's oh, yes. that's uh, part of the beauty of the quilt is showing the quilting when yes. you reverse the quilt into the lining. It's really amazing, <coughs> you know, the possibilities whether you're doing it by hand or by machine. That's Most true. of mine that's are true. by machines. I, so I who says that the quilting is a going out art? We've it seen, is not. We've seen a lot of quilts and hope to see even more in our uh, show and tell. Well, and today is just one of those examples we've seen, one of the largest and one of the smallest, I guess, yes. even a back Earlier. quilt. So we, uh, yes. we, uh, we are seeing so many different quilts, and we appreciate you coming by and bringing your quilts. It's a wonderful art to um, develop the skill, and it is. And thank you very much for inviting me. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk with well, you. Well, thank you for coming. Yes, thank you.